Plastic recycling can be more complicated than other recycling streams because there are so many different shapes, sizes, and types of resin, which makes them difficult to sort. Most plastics that don't fit the categories of single-use jugs, jars, bottles, and tubs end up in the landfill. Replay Workshop aims to give some of those plastics a second life. Located in the site of an old boxing gym in Proctor, Minnesota, Replay has transformed the space into a prototyping workshop. Today, WLSSD staff are taking a tour of their processes and projects. First stop on the tour is the sorting room, where plastics are sorted by resin and color from raw material sourced from the community. First people probably contacted me, besides some neighbors and stuff, were Falk's Pharmacy. They, they told me, they said, you know, only certain nursing homes. They had been trying to separate their stuff for a while. They said they had some years ago had a whole lot of it and brought it to WLS SDA. We're basically told, yeah, it's just going to go to landfill because the recyclers won't take the small bottles. And so they were super frustrated about that. Mm. I've noticed since we started taking all of their bottles, they like they moved their dumpsters because they're no longer loading up their dumpsters with this volume of stuff. This, this literally all went to landfill. And after trying to do a lot of effort to get labels off of it, we decided the better approach was just to figure out how we could use it with labels. Um, it's not as re-recyclable to make it into a, a composite material, but it's still better than having it go to landfill right now, which is what we know that it's going to have. So we're trying to upcycle it, give it, give it at least one more turn through the consumer economy, and hopefully make it into something that has more enduring value rather than one and done disposable plastic. The next step in that process is to shred the plastic into stock material. So these, again, these are just the pill bottles right here. No labels or anything like that on. We'll just toss them in there. Plastic passes through the machine twice to ensure uniform size shred that can be melted evenly and consistently. So it's much smaller pieces. Yeah, so now you can do much more with it. Melted material can be pressed into sheet goods, formed into game pieces, or extruded through molds to make stock goods for other crafts. So one of the things that we want to be doing here is connecting with local artisans who are interested in using this as a raw material. Mm -hmm. You can pop this on a wood lathe, just use your own woodworking tools and shape it into vases or whatever that you would make out of a block of, yeah. of maple burl or, or anything else. Um, and it just, it turns like a dream. HDP is wonderful to work with. You can get a really nice, um, I don't even sand it. I just, you know, that, that was straight off the lathe. The sorts of things that you can do with this type of machinery, kind of an artisanal craft approach, um, is different from what you would do on an extruded assembly line, making generic sheets of, of solid color and stuff like that. You can get starbursts, you can get patterns, you can do all kinds of, of cool, unique things. And so for people who are really looking for that as an architectural design component, mm -hmm. then that's a, a, a premium product as opposed to um, a disposable straw. Tabletop game pieces are another premium product Replay has their sights set on because the workshop is an arm of Atlas Games, a tabletop game publisher based in Proctor with global reach. A game publisher's role in the industry is to coordinate production of all the game elements, like custom cards, boards, and tokens through a variety of manufacturers. Then they assemble and box each game and ship it to customers and retailers. Waste reduction and environmental sustainability are central to all Atlas Games operations. Almost everything gets a second life, including packaging material. So all of our boxes turn into webbed packing Waffle material cool. and we no longer buy uh, virgin like cornstarch or, or bubble or anything. As Replay Workshop continues to grow and expand, they aim to scale their operations and continue prototyping new products and processes. An enormous range of products that absolutely should be made by mm -hmm. completely out of recycled material, and there's no good reason for them not to be.